Spring is here, and in the Sierra, oh, hello, bear. That means the bears are back in action, but not all of them got to rest during their hibernation. So the Bear League, yes, there's a Bear League. They say there were a record number of evictions around Tahoe this winter. That may explain it. Tori Apodaca has details on what that means as animals wake up. Over 100 bears have been evicted from homes, businesses, even churches this winter in Tahoe. The Bear League says that this is a record, but the problem isn't that there's more bears, but more people. Watch out, Ron. A paintball gun scaring off a bear from its sleep under a Tahoe home. We upgraded the, the hinges and the latch and um, put some steel rods um, on the back of this door. Even with a secured crawl space like this, one bear on a mission for warmth in the winter found another way in. So the bear this year came back behind the church and then entered under the deck this way. Pastor at Christ the King Lutheran Church in Tahoe City, Edward Hilton, says he knew something was off when the chapel wasn't heating up. So he called in a contractor. While he was underneath, uh, the contractor came face to face with a hibernating bear and uh, immediately ran out. That bear spent about a month of his hibernation hogging up the heat under the back deck. It's just the bears doing what they need to to compensate for us taking over what has historically been their forest. Hilton called in executive director of the Bear League, Ann Bryant, to evict the bear. Right behind here, she crawled under the church. So why are bears burrowing near humans and not in their habitat? Come on, get out. Bryant says it's because we're inviting bears in by leaving crawl spaces open and food out. The solution, secure your space. The problem is more and more tourism and more and more people coming up here for vacation and forgetting to bring their brains with them. The majority of evictions are happening at vacation homes. This winter was a record. Sometimes eight a day, and they usually just find another home to hide under. Come on, bear! We feel like criminals running the bears out. Bryant does not expect the disrupted sleep will impact bear behavior. Um, we're going to be looking at some bear wire. But the bears aren't going anywhere, as long as people keep unintentionally inviting them in. He's a holy bear. <laughs> Well, even though there are still mounds of snow on the ground in Tahoe, the bears are waking up from hibernation and they're going to be coming out both thirsty and pretty darn hungry. So that's why Bryant says it's really important for people to be cautious and secure areas and food this spring.